My name is Hendrikje and I work under the moniker Tenon of Culture. The phrase Tenon of Culture comes from the writing of Michel de Certeau. He uses it as a sort of allegory to address the issues between consumers and producers and address the hierarchies that exist within that, specifically within the kind of tactics that consumers use to defy the strategies by producers through misuse and reinterpretation and personalization of mass-produced objects, which really relates to my practice of recycling. My studio is in Oldgate East, which is in East London. I didn't know when I moved here, but then slowly as you start to become familiar with the environment, I saw all these textile production factories here and there's a lot of places that do wholesale. Because I have a fashion background, I think my practice is really about like attempting to answer questions about the fashion industry that I felt like were inaccessible. To me, that information, just the act of deconstructing a garment provides me with lots of information about the supply chain, but also about the design and about how it was supposed to be perceived, but what happened to it within its like social life you know, reading the labels and looking what is inside of it, like the way something is constructed says a lot about what its intention. So seams say something about how durable it's supposed to be or how it's been constructed and who constructed it. So it is a way for me to acquire information in a very material way that doesn't necessarily exist on because the, the label is supposed to provide information, but it, it rarely does. This show coming up at Camden came from the Camden Merging Artist Prize, which offers you a solo exhibition at Camden Arts Centre, which is incredible because it's my first institutional show in the UK. For this exhibition, I went into the Camden archives and coincidentally, I, I found the laundry industry. It was stated as, as employing um, a lot of people at that point in Acton in London. And I was like, huh, I really didn't know that existed, the laundry industry. So I started researching that and tried to take that subject into a contemporary context of contemporary mass production of garments. I thought that was quite interesting because the laundry industry has entirely disappeared because it's been taken back into the domestic sphere, but it's still very important in the production of garments. I found out that um, only 5% of raw materials used to create and transport a garment is actually within the garment. So 95% of that is completely unseen afterwards. So there's like lots of wastewater that contain microplastics and bleach and all that kind of stuff that just goes back into the environment. So for this um, exhibition, I'm really honing in on this more pre-consumer waste, wastewater and the invisibility of that. I sourced a lot of performance wear. As soon as I acquire those, I start to take them apart. And then it's it's a process of patchworking them together in certain ways. And it's a kind of an intimate and very multi-sensory process. I always try to make, to cut up a garment in a way that leaves it intact as much as possible because this process of taking something apart creates waste. And then I start to assemble them and use the often the construction techniques that they have been constructed with to begin with. So it mimics the same processes and it stays very close to the initial intention of the piece, but exaggerated and they take on these kind of monstrous dimensions to take them outside of the familiarity of the wearable. So this piece is made out of waterproof performance wear, sportswear, all sewn together into a very, very long patchwork that is then bundled up through elastics and toggles cord stoppers or wrinkled up which refers to processes within the laundry industry as well the um the wringing out drying pressing and hanging and all those those elements come back into all the garments but simultaneously references sportswear something that i try to kind of accomplish within the work is that it has the desirability of something that would be in a window display, but the kind of grotesqueness or almost abject nature of something that has been thrown away and becomes this kind of problematic entity that, you know, as waste flows through the world.